Hello everyone and welcome to a video that I am super excited to film here. Look at L'Oreal was super nice and they sent me this huge package of some makeup. Yeah, lots and lots of makeup. But what I'm going to focus on is this little, this little drawer here called Lips. Yes. <laughs> L'Oreal sent me what I'm assuming to be the full line. I'm gonna have to check, but I mean, this is a lot of colors of their new Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Now, I love their Pro Matte glosses. Like, just, ah, ah, so good. I love that formula. It's one of my favorite lip formulas ever. So I'm super excited to try out this matte version. I feel like I've been hearing very good things about this. So let's go ahead. Let's hop onto L'Oreal's website just so we can make sure, see if there's any different claims from the glosses. I mean, obviously there's going to be the difference between it being a gloss and a matte, but otherwise, you know, wear time and everything. And then we can go ahead and start swatching these and putting them on my lips. So here we go. Like I said, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick line. It's got great reviews. It looks like so far and each one is going to set you back $9.99. They've got 12 different shades available. They've got quite a few, it seems like, nudes and pastel shades. And then they've got like some berries and purples and lilacs. They've also got, you know, your classic reds and whatnot. And they say that these are going to give up to 16 hours of wear with high impact color and comfortable wear. It's got intense high pigment to it to create a comfortable, long lasting, ultra matte color. It's going to be full coverage. Again, one wearing and it's going to be light feeling for all day comfort. Also this is flammable until dry so don't be putting this on like over a candle or something. Looks like the how-to is to just put it on like a normal lipstick and they say that it's best removed with an oil-based remover. So yeah sounds good to me. I'm super excited. It looks like they did send me the full line here so I'm super excited to be <laughs> how many times can I say I'm super excited but I am. I'm excited to be able to swatch these for you guys and to show you how they end up wearing on my lips throughout the day. So let's go ahead Let's get started. Let's get to swatching. But first, of course, let's sing the song together, shall we? Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. So I'm gonna try swatching these from lightest to darkest. It's kind of hard to tell exactly which ones are gonna be lighter than the other because the packaging is like this frosted packaging. It's really pretty and everything. It's got the same shape as the glosses to it. It's got like this kind of tapered, it's not kind of, it is a tapered bottle. I think it's really nice. It's nice and slim and pretty. I love that the top is like kind of rubberized NARS feeling packaging. I think we all know how I feel about NARS packaging. But we'll zoom in a little bit here. Break the safety seal. Pull this out. Boop. <laughs> It smells the same as the glosses. Now, I know a lot of people do not like the smell of these. I personally love the smell. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's got like kind of a fruity, gummy, candy smell to it. But then like a little bit of maybe vanilla or something mixed in. It's a strange scent. But like I said, I personally like it, so. Here is the shade number 360 Angora. Let's see how this glides on the lips. Um, this is like my exact lip color. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. It went on very smooth, nice and creamy, and while this is very similar to my lip color, it's actually got a lot more gray to it, like a lot more of a gray lilac pull. It does seem to be drying down. I wasn't quite sure if this was going to be one of those ones that just looks very matte but stays a liquid or if it was going to dry down, dry down, but it does have that stickiness once you push your lips together. We'll have to see throughout the day if that ends up like going away or whatever, but here we go. Here's what this one looks like on me. Next up, we have got the shade number 354 Nudist. Very appropriate, I would say. This is definitely a nude shade and it is a peachy nude, kind of like a burnt peach, I would say. It's got that mix of a peach and a toffee to it. I quite like the way that this looks on me. I think it is a really nice color and a good nude for me anyways, and I could see this being a good nude for everybody, really, or at least quite a lot of people. It went on super creamy and everything, just like the first one. I think it looks really nice, very opaque, went on very even. Yeah, overall, like I said, I just I really like the way this one looks on me. Yes, you guys, this next color is number 358 cowboy and as much as I do not like country themed anything's really this color yes yes this is so gorgeous I love these colors this is like a burnt toffee caramel brown gorgeousness color these 
are such pretty colors and this one is absolutely gorgeous I mean just like the first ones it went on super smooth super creamy super pigmented I love this color I might have to wear this one today I mean we'll see we're only on the third color here but hoo -hoo, top contender for sure oh you guys this next one is beautiful too this is number 352 shakedown it is a gorgeous like dusty rosy brown I mean it's definitely a brown but it's got that undertone of a dusty rose to it if that makes sense but also maybe a little bit of chocolate in there maybe that's where the brown is coming from but oh you guys just a gorgeous color and this is another one that I could see working on so many different people from light to dark just mm, this is this is a rich shade this is rich and delicious it's one of those kind of yummy shades. Mm, mm, mm. I like it. Next up here, we have got the shade number 372 Petal Potion. This is a carnation rose. That is not an actual flower. At least I don't think so. This is a carnation pink, and then it's got that dusty rose color to it again. It's also got a hint of a mauve undertone. It is very pretty. I personally don't wear these colors very much. I don't know. They're just not my favorite on me. I don't think they look bad on me. I just, I don't know. I don't gravitate towards these colors, but it is very pretty. It looks very nice and soft on the lips, but it still gives a, a hint of color, a pop of color, more than a hint. But either way, here you go, a really nice pinky mauve. This next color, you guys, 362 Plum Bum. If this doesn't scream fall, I don't know what does. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful, beautiful plum color. It really is. It's kind of like Max Plumful, just amped up into a full pigment form. It is a gorgeous dusty plum berry color it really is kind of plain and simple in that sense but just uh, I love these colors I think they are absolutely gorgeous they're just rich and deep and mm, I love them I love this kind of a shade I think it is super super pretty now next up we have got the shade 374 kitten paw I feel like you guys are always telling me that there isn't a lipstick that looks bad on me well have I finally proven you wrong? <laughs> it's like a pinky lilac pastel color. I feel like a clown in these kind of colors, but I feel like this is a Tumblr kid's wet dream right here. I do see this color looking really pretty on some people. I just, on me, I can't do it. I don't think it looks good, but you know, here it is. This is what it looks like. It was really opaque for one of these kind of colors, so I do have to give it credit there. I just know that personally, I will not be wearing this one. Next color, we have got number 360. 64 milk and cookies I love the name of this one very cute and this I mean kind of reminiscent of milk and cookies in the sense that it's like that watered down milky brown color I guess it's got a hint of gray to it for sure I shouldn't even say hint it's definitely got a gray undertone to it but I do think it's a nice enough color you know especially for fall here I think it's very fall appropriate a little bit ashy looking and you know I don't hate it surprisingly enough it's a little different for me but like I said I definitely do not hate this number 356 is called deeply disturbed but <laughs> I feel anything but deeply disturbed in this. I feel like some of those other colors maybe were deeply disturbed, but this is just deeply hot. Oh my gosh. This color is gorgeous. It looks super like vibrant neon in the tube, but when you put it on your lips, it has got this rich oomph to it. It's like velvet. It is so gorgeous. It did take a bit more work to get onto the lips. This did have a sheerer formula, I would say. It also smells a bit more like chemically, which... <laughs> this color is looking really splotchy on camera. It really doesn't look that splotchy in real life, but holy cannoli, this color is fantastic. I, I I have feelings when it comes to this color. It is really, really nice. Next up is the shade number 368, Matador. Very fitting, you know, with the whole bowl and uh, holding the red cape or whatever for it because this is like that color. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue-toned red color. Oh, you got, I mean, this is, this is delightful. Like really classic old Hollywood kind of a romantic, delightful red. I mean, just, beautiful, beautiful formula again, nice and creamy and opaque and everything. This one, oh, this is a winner for sure, at least if the formula ends up working throughout the rest of the day here. Also, sorry that the swatches are starting to get a little sloppy. I'm kind of in a rush and also my lips are raw. Owie. Next color, number 366, stirred, is a brick. House. It's mighty, mighty 
really, I mean, this is a classic, classic brown brick red. It is gorgeous, perfect for this time of year. I mean, it really is just very rich, but dimensional and very, very, very pretty on the lips. The formula is great. I mean, super opaque and creamy, like I've been saying about most of these. It really is a nice formula going on and everything. And the color, again, to reiterate, is absolutely gorgeous. The Commodores would be very, very proud. And last but not least, we have got the color 370 Roseblood. Ooh. But you know, I kind of, I get that. It's like a really, really deeply red rose, like on the petals where it gets to be that really deep, dark, rich color. It's an intense blackened form of that. So instead of like a blackened plum, this is like a blackened red berry. It's very pretty. It's kind of like deeply disturbed, more disturbed sister, I would say, <laughs> in the sense that it is quite a bit more black and rich and everything, but it was a little bit streaky going on, more pigmented than deeply disturbed, but it had that slightly thinner formula, but still very creamy and everything. So here's this color. It is intense, but I would say I think this is a pretty one. So there we go, you guys. There's the swatches of all of the colors. I decided to go with cowboy today because I just... I don't know, this color is speaking to me. I am, like usual, in my lip product reviews testing out a foundation today, so if you want to see all of the shenanigans and whatnot that I am up to, definitely go ahead and check out that video whenever it is posted. And otherwise, I will just be checking in with you all before and after meals and whatnot, or just whenever I feel like I need to check in with you all throughout the day. So I will see you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye! <laughs>
How many times can I say that? I don't know. But here, let me reiterate for you. I can put things into a numerical perspective for you guys with my pause rating system here. P stands for performance, A is for application, W is for worth the price, and S is for shade range. For performance, oh yeah. Oh yeah, like five out of five. There is no question there. Like when you can eat a whole sub sandwich and not have like any fading or anything, I don't know how I could do anything other than a 5 out of 5, plus it was comfy, plus it was just, I just, everything delightful, loved it, reapplication was good and easy and perfect and I'm in love. Oh, I will mention though, I feel like it's gotten better towards the end of the night here for whatever reason, but this is one of those products, like when you push your lips together, it does have the slightest little stick to it, and so if you go a while, like maybe 15 minutes, half hour, maybe even shorter, I don't know. But like if your lips have just been sitting together like normal, there is a little bit of a stick and tug when you go to open your mouth. I know that bothers some people, it honestly kind of bothers me too, but like not enough. Like this one was kind of a lesser offender in that category compared to other lipsticks that do the same thing. Does that make sense? But I figured I would mention that just so you guys know that that does happen. Application really nice. You know, there were the couple of colors that had a bit streakier or thinner of a sheerer formula, but aside from those two, the other 10 in the line of 12 products did really well. Super creamy, super pigmented. I love the applicator on these. Like, I just feel like the shape of it and everything. A, with the actual, like, divot I guess in the it's not a doe foot technically but you know what I mean it holds a good amount of product so it coats your lips completely you have plenty of time before it dries down to you know fix mistakes and everything and still have it be creamy and nice and delightful so application I've got to give it a five out of five for worth the price yeah, like five out of five, of course. Just under 10 bucks. I mean, with tax, I suppose it'll be a little over 10 bucks, but for a beautiful transfer resistant lipstick like this, like, yeah, I don't know that there's anything cheaper that you can get that's going to be better than this. So yeah, worth the price, 100%, absolutely. And for shade range, I feel like this is the only part where it's going to bring it down a little bit. I do think the shade range was good. I think there could be a couple things added in there. Like I feel like the pinks were lacking. There was a good selection of, you know, purple and red and nudes, but I feel like some pinks you know, or like a magenta or that sort of a thing. But at the same time, I do feel like it was a good shade range. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four and a half. Overall, that gets a 19 and a half out of 20 or a 4.875 out of five paws. And that is purely based on the shade range. If you take that out, if you find a color or two that you like, it gets 100% across the board, five out of five paws. So good, I am so happy with this. I'm super excited to wear most of these colors. I mean, as you saw, there were a couple shades that I was not so keen on on me but overall I am so pumped with this like I'm just I'm so so impressed that's fantastic so as always I hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful if you did please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below I would really appreciate it and if you're new here Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!